Hi students, good morning. We are going to discuss about the English notes of plus one history theme number one from the beginning of time. Introduction. Discussing about the beginning of human existence on earth. 5.6 million years ago, first human-like creatures appeared on earth. 1,60,000 years ago, modern humans originated, hunting gathering society emerged, stone tools began to use, sources, fossils, stone tools, cave paintings, fossils. Fossils are the remains of very old plant, animals or human which have turned into stone. These are often embedded in rock and thus preserved for millions of years. Dating of fossils, two ways. A. Chemical analysis, carbon-14 method. B. By dating the sediments in which fossils are buried. Evidences of human evolution comes from the study of fossils. Discovery of Neanderthal man, discovered in 1856 from Neander Valley in Germany by quarry workers who gave to Karl Forlot a schoolmaster. He handed over this to Hermann Schahessen, professor of anatomy at Bern University. He realized that the skull's remains did not belong to a modern human but represented a form of human that was extinct. Charles Darwin, an English naturalist, best known for his theory of evolution. He argued that humans had evolved from animals. The theory was introduced in his work on the origin of species, published in 1859. The story of human evolution. Evolution from animal to modern man. A. Precursors of modern human beings. 1. Primates. 2. Hominoids. 3. Hominids. 4. Australopithecus. 5. Homo. 6. Homo habilis, 7. Homo erectus, 8. Homo sapiens, and 9. Homo sapiens sapiens. First one, primates, that is ape, subgroup of mammals, features, they have long body hair, long gestation period, memory glands, different types of teeth, they have ability to maintain a constant body temperature. 36 million years ago, primates emerged in Africa and Asia. Differences and similarities of hominoids and hominids. Hominoids, smaller brain than hominids. Hominids, larger brain than hominoids. Hominoids, quadrupeds being walking on four legs. Hominids, biped beings walking on two legs. Hominoids, monkey-like hands, so they cannot use tools. Hominids, specialization of the hands which enable them to use tools. Hominoids, their backbone is bent. Hominoids, upright posture. Hominoids, they have larger body, long period of infant development. Hominids, they have larger body, they have long infant period. Hominoids. They have small brain. They have quadrupeds walking on four legs. Their hands are not properly open. Their backbone is bent. They include apes. Australopithecus and Homo. Australopithecus, subgroup of homino hominids. The name Australopithecus derived from Latin and Greek words. Latin word Austral means southern and Greek word Pithecus means ape. Thus, the term Australopithecus means southern ape. Australopithecus were called as a semi-man because they had features of both ape and man. Fossils of Australopithecus discovered from Old Voyage in Africa in 1959. How did Australopithecus extincted and Homo originated? The process as given below. A phase of glaciation ice age started b large part of earth covered with snow c reduction in temperature d reduction in rainfall e reduction in the forest areas f grassland areas were expanded the process led to extinction of Australopithecus because they adapted to forests developed a new kind of species that were better adapted to drier conditions called as homo 
the difference between Australopithecus and Homo. Australopithecus, meaning southern ape, smaller brain than Homo. They have projected jaw, large teeth, forest beings. Quadruped being. Homo, meaning man, large brain than Australopithecus, a little projected jaw, smaller teeth, grasslands being, bipedal being. Changes in the size of skull denotes increase in intelligence and memory power. Changes in the shape of jaw and teeth denotes changes in food habits. Homo and bipedalism. Homo becomes bipedal due to two reasons. A. 1. Loss of forest areas. 2. Extension of grassland areas. Bipedalism led to the following facts. 1. Enabled hands to be free. 2. Use of hands was increased. 3. Lead to upright walking. 4. Energy consumed than before. 5. This energy used for running. Homo fossils classified into 3. A. Homo habilis. B. Homo erectus. 3. Homo sapiens. Homo habilis originated in 2.2 mia in Africa. First genus in the Homo group. Called as A. Skilled man. B. First tool maker. Fossils discovered from Homo in Ethiopia, Old Vajo in Tanzania. Homo erectus originated in 1.8 Mia in Africa, called as upright man. Direct ancestors of modern men began to use fire and clothes. Homo sapiens originated in 8 lakhs Ia, originated in Africa, called as wise man, thinking man. Fossils found from Heidelberg, Germany, Neanderthal Valley, Germany. The first was called as Homo heidelbergensis, the latter was called as Homo neanderthalensis. Modern human beings, scientific name is Homo sapiens, the earliest evidence was found from Africa. Two theories about the origin of modern humans, first one regional continuity model and second one replacement model. Regional continuity model propounded multiple regions of origin. Homo sapiens in different regions developed into modern humans. The argument is based on the regional differences of present-day humans. Replacement model propounded the idea of single origin in Africa. Basis of this argument was the genetic and anatomical homogeneity of modern humans. The earliest fossils of modern humans found from Homo in Ethiopia. Physical differences of the modern humans is a result of adaptation to the particular origins where they state settled down. Early humans ways of obtaining food. First one gathering, second scavenging and third hunting and for fishing. Gathering, not an established one by evidence because fossilized plant remains are relatively rare. No found carbonized plants, burned plants. They collected plant foods like seeds, nuts, berries, fruits, tubers. Scavenging means search for food or meat. They are met at marrow from the circuses of animals that had been died naturally or had been killed. In early they did not hunt the animals. Hunting. Hunting probably be, probably began about 5 lakhs here. The earliest evidence for plant hunting comes from two sites, Boxrow in England 5 lakhs year, Schoenichen in Germany 4 lakhs year, Dolny Westonish in Czech Republic 35,000 year. The place was chosen one by the hunters. Herds of migratory animals crossed the river during their autumn and spring migrations and were killed on large scale. The choice of hunting sites indicates the people knew about the movement of animals in different climatic conditions. They also knew about the means of killing large numbers of animals quickly. Early humans from trees to caves and open air sites. Caves and open air sites began to be used between 4 lakhs and 1 lakh 25,000 years. Evidence from Europe. One lizard cave in France. Tool with two. 4 meter shelter. Inside it were two herds, seeds, nuts, bird eggs, freshwater fish. To Terra Amata in France, shelter with roofs of wood and grasses. Built for short term seasonal visits. Evidence from South Africa. Pieces of barked clay, burnt bones were found. 
use of fire hearth was an indication of controlled use of fire advantages provided warm and light inside the cave fire could be used for cooking used to harden wood which used to make spear tip to scare away wild animals early humans making tools first evidence of the making and use of stone tools came from homo in ethiopia and kenya the earliest tool users were australopithecus stone tools found in old y george were one hand axe or hammer stone to chopper hierarchy tools heavy rough stone tool hand axe chopper stone blade bone tool animal pictures engraved bone tool it is possible that stone tool makers were both men and women changes about 35000 year one new kinds of tools were implemented like spear throwers the bow and arrow this reveals the improvement in the techniques for killing animals too they began to remove meat from bones drying and smoking three food could be stored for later consumption four started trampling for bearing animals for making clothes five invention of sewing needles six introduction of punch blade techniques it helps to make chisel like tools chisel help, helps to make engraving on bone ivory and wood modes of communication language and art stages of language development gestures or hand movement it was hominid language b singing and humming non verbal communication c speech sound gradually developed into spoken languages when did spoken languages emerge a e, to mia period of homo habilis b to langsia period of modern humans c between 40000 to 35000 year language developed along with the development of art during this period cave art and cave paintings hundreds of paintings of animals have been discovered from france and spain altamira cave paintings altamira is a cave site in spain discovered in 1879 the cave include the depictions of bison horse ibex deer mammoth rhino bear panther hyena owl some features regarding these paintings one only some areas of caves have paintings not all caves two only some animals were painted not all animals three men were painted both individually and in groups whereas women were depicted only in groups four men were painted near animals but never women five groups of animals painted in caves were sound carried well explanations when these caves were possibly meeting places of peoples to discuss and sharing hunting techniques two they painted animals that were closely associated with their life three individual hunting and group hunting had existed in the early period for hunting was closely associated with men and not women hunter gatherer societies from present to past whether the information about present day hunter gatherers could be used to understand the past societies two opposing views on this issue one we can interpret the archaeological remains of past by studying the present day hunter gatherers example some archaeologists suggest that the hominid sites in the margins of late turkana africa were dry seasonal camps because such practice has been observed among the present day hunter gatherers like hadza and kongsa hadza and kongsa are present day hunter gatherers tribes in africa had set type in tanzania africa living around lake eac ethnographic data of the present societies cannot be used for understanding past societies because the two are totally different example early societies economic activities limited in hunting and gathering only but modern hunting gathering societies this expanded into other areas like exchange of forest produce trade working as paid laborers two disciplines which help us to reconstruct the lives of the earliest people a anthropology a discipline that studies human culture and evolutionary aspects of human biology b ethnography the study of contemporary ethnic groups it includes their modes of livelihood technology rituals and etc the period between 10000 to 4000 and 500 year changes a turning point in human history first one the shift from hunting gathering to agriculture to we learn to domesticate certain plants and animals pastoralism 
when did this change take place when climatic change b population pressure three increasing knowledge about plants and animals the process will one the end of last ice age about 13000 year two let a warmer and what better conditions three it is favorable to the growth of grasses like barley and wheat four when grasslands explain population of certain animals such as sheep goat cattle increased Due to the abundance of grasses and animals, humans began to prefer these areas. Thus, permanent communities emerged there. Population pressure compelled them to increase the food supply. This led to domestication of certain plants and animals. Plants, wheat, barley, rice and millet. Animals, sheep, goat, cattle, etc. Introduction of agriculture led to establishment of permanent houses there. Thus, villages emerged around 10,000 years. First village emerged in the region called Fertile Crescent. The area that extending from the Mediterranean coast to the Sacros mountain in Iran. Making of ports to store grain and to cook food began this period. New tools such as plough were used in the agriculture. People become familiar with metals like copper and tin to make agriculture tools. Wheel came into use for both pot making and transportation. The villages were developed into cities about 5000 years. First cities were emerged in Mesopotamia modern Iraq. Keywords and their meanings Fossils Fossils are the remains or impressions of a very old plant, animal or human which have turned into stone. They are often embedded in rock and are thus preserved for million years. Species Species is a group of organisms that can breed to produce fertile offspring. Members of one species cannot mate with those of other species to produce fertile offspring. Anthropology Anthropology is a discipline that studies human culture and evolutionary aspects of human biology. Artifacts Artifacts are objects that are made by human beings. The term can refer to a wide range of things, tools, paintings, sculpture and engravings. Primates Primates are a subgroup of a larger group of mammals. They include monkey, apes and humans. They have body hair, a relatively long gestation period following birth, mammary glands, different types of teeth and the ability to maintain a constant body temperature. Ethnography Ethnography is a study of contemporary ethnic groups. It includes an examination of their modes of livelihood, technology, gender roles, rituals, political institutions and social customs. Passage based references Old Y. George is located in the Rift Valley, East Africa. Marys and Lo Ilike identified the site and worked there for 40 years. It was Mary who discovered the remains of Astralopithecus there in 1959. The Hutsa, a small group of hunters and gatherers living in around Lake Yasi in the Rift Valley, East Africa. The Hutsa depended on the wild foods. There were never shortages of food, even in times of drought, because of the availability of vegetables. Their camps are sited among trees or rocks and within a kilometer of a water source. Altamira, a cave site in Spain. The importance of Altamira is his cave paintings.